we're going to give this old basement door a real facelift and a new window frame. Before you begin, make sure you have everything you need. Linseed oil paint in the colour of your choice. Raw linseed oil. Balsam turpentine. Empty pots for mixing the paint. Containers and pots for measuring. Stick for stirring the paint. Brushes. Tools. Sugar soap. New glass. Window putty. Oil filler. Rubbing down blocks. Brush for dusting. Sun bleached linseed oil. Cloth for wiping brushes and hands. Soap for washing brushes and hands. Before you begin, we recommend that you first read the application instructions and tips included in our brochure and on our website. Estimated rate of distribution per coat on planed wood is 12 to 20 square metres per litre of paint. The drying time of the paint is two to three days under normal drying conditions. The optimal temperature to apply the paint is approximately 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. Make sure that you have good ventilation in the room you're painting in, especially for drying purposes. A door in this condition can be renovated at various levels. Since it is a basement door of a holiday home, we have chosen a treatment that will retain the patina. We are not looking for a finish that is as good as new. Brush off all loose material and scrape off any old paint that is loose. Remove any old putty residue from the window frame. Wash the door with sugar soap to remove all dirt and grease. Make a measuring gauge for 35% paint, 50% raw linseed oil and 15% balsam turpentine. Open the pot with a putty knife and avoid damaging the lid. An undamaged lid is easy to put on again and tightly seals the contents. Stir the paint thoroughly so that it becomes completely homogeneous and wipe off the stick with a brush. Place the stick in a mixing jar and pour in the paint to the first line. Pour in the raw linseed oil to the next line. And balsam turpentine to the last. Stir and pour everything out into a paint can. Mix everything thoroughly to an homogeneous consistency. Replace the lid and label the can so that you know just what there is in the paint store. Always stir the paint before you start painting. Begin by painting the wood exposed surfaces so they are given protection from mould. The brush we are using is a pig hair varnish brush of high quality in order to distribute the paint evenly over the surface. Also paint the inside of the putty rim where the glass will sit. Place the brush in raw linseed oil until the next time you paint. After the paint has dried, which takes about two days, a layer of putty is applied onto the putty rim of the window. Warm up the putty with your hands so that it becomes easier to apply. Lay a string of putty around the rim where the glass will sit. Put the glass in position and press gently so that it fits snugly on all the sides. Secure with a window pin on each side. Using a piece of tape around the hammer will prevent the glass from being scratched. Apply the putty fairly liberally around the frame. Smooth out with a putty knife to secure a good fixture. Use the oil filler to fill any irregularities in the door. The degree of accuracy is determined by how even you want the door to be in its final state. When the putty has dried after a day, the door is sanded down and the dust removed. Wipe away any excess oil from the brush and wipe it with a cloth.
stir the paint before applying it. Any window bars can be painted using a small angled brush for extra accuracy. Allow the putty to dry for about three days or until the surface has solidified before applying the paint. Avoid getting too much paint on the brush as it will become more difficult to apply it evenly. Work the paint into all the uneven areas. Extra pressure may be required on some areas in order to cover all the surfaces with the paint. Always finish with a few long strokes of the brush in order to acquire a smooth and even finish. Continue painting all the wood that goes horizontally across the door and finish off with the door frame. First the horizontal parts of the frame and then the vertical parts. Also paint the fittings before applying the final finish, which is done with long and light brush strokes. Keep the brushes in raw linseed oil for the next application. Here you can add about 10% sun bleach linseed oil to improve the sheen and luster. A glossy surface is more dirt resistant. Mix the paint well and prepare the brushes for the next coat. The final application is carried out in the same way. Start in the middle with the panels and finish off with the frame. It is important that you rinse the cloth in water before throwing it away to prevent spontaneous combustion. Wash the brushes in soap and water. It is a good investment to look after your brushes as a good brush is expensive. A second-hand well-maintained brush is also better to work with than one that is brand new. If you intend to continue painting in a few days using the same paint, it is not necessary to wash the brushes, but just let them remain in raw linseed oil so that the paint doesn't dry. Once the door has been reinstalled, it will decorate the holiday home for many years to come and be resistant to both weather and wind.